Hello everybody, so this is MSF Scientific Days and uh, we've got a demo session going on this afternoon. Uh, so Pete, what's going on? So uh, our colleague Idris, uh, who was a project coordinator in the field, said nurses would love him if he could solve the problem of hanging intravenous bags in land cruisers during patient transfers. Has the love occurred? Um, well, it's still a prototype, so I assume once it gets to a full product, the love will flow. Okay, talk us through it. Um, so over here at the back, you have a, you have a bracket which has been designed by a two-person MSF team and uh, Nils from, from Fearsome, a product. Uh, Say hello, Nils. Hello. Um, and they went through a three-week process of um, information gathering and ideation and prototyping and came up with this. Okay. Um, Why is this different from just a normal land cruiser? Well, normally a nurse or a log would have to run and get a bit of string or a glove to tie up the intravenous bag while a patient was being transferred or a patient's carer would have to hold it or the patient occasionally themselves would have to hold it. But this is different because it integrates with the, the body of the Land Cruiser. Okay. You never have to think about where you're going to hang your, your bag again. Okay. So it's like a permanent coat hanger for intravenous bags? More than a coat hanger, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, not for uh, So why is it more than a coat hanger then? Well, maybe we can show you. Yeah, go ahead. Shall we sugar? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this is, a, this is actually a testing environment, not just a, a holder. So this is now a Congolese road. <laughs> and you'll see that the IV holder, the IV bag, is stable. Bhargavi, the nurse, can still see the levels and still care for the patient, and she doesn't have to think about that bag at all. Understood. Okay. Can you take us through how you get it up there and how you take it down? Can you uh, play with it a little bit? Well, Bhargavi, maybe... Bhargavi's never seen this before, so maybe you can... Uh, <laughs> it's you a can good test. A, yeah. Unattaching the IV bag. So would you just simply, I mean, it feels fairly intuitive, would I just unhook this? Yeah. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely have not seen this before. And that's that. Very easy, very intuitive. So this bit is nice because this piece here is integrated, but all the pieces that maybe have vulnerability, this is just electrical wire, this is actually off an intravenous bag, so they can all be replaced in the field if, if needed. Okay, so made with products that are easily available in the field if they needed to, to, to mend it themselves. The, the vulnerable bits are, yeah, they're all replaceable. So everything down here. And we actually can also store that out of the way to just make it a bit less vulnerable as well. That's just up there. So what's the plan? Have you tested this in the field yet, Pete? That's the, the next stage. So we've got a prototype we're very happy with. It's been lab tested extensively. Now we want to test it in the field, do any further development and make it ready for production. Good luck. Would the idea be to install this uh, by default in all land cruisers uh, before they go to the field, all new land cruisers? Or, or? That's certainly possible so that the part actually retrofits onto existing uh, features on the land cruiser. So um, this white part here is a replacement for a grey cover that's in there at the moment, which is here. So we've basically ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. taken yeah. that part and modified it. Oh, um, okay. So we have a new version of this part. So you take this off pop on the new thing and then it's ready to go. So even for existing land cruisers in the field, it's pretty easy just to chuck this thing up there. In that way, yeah, to, yeah. to existing land cruisers. Understood. So a, a medic's opinion, So, I, I mean, this looks like an incredibly simple solution to a real problem. Do you know whether it's able to keep the same rate of fluid flowing? Does the, does the jiggling around or, or not having someone actually sort of control it manually, does it affect fluid rates? Um, well, we worked with Josie, a nurse, to develop the solution. Um, so with her not being here, I can't give you a, an answer on that, but I believe that it should be fine. Um, Excellent. She certainly thought it was fit for purpose um, for, for a nurse's needs while transferring patients. So we'll have to see. Adi, do you feel completely uh, over IV'd or are you OK? <laughs> I, I feel OK. You feel OK. Well, that's a good sign. Great. Well, thanks very much, lads. Well done. Bravo.